नाजरीन दोस्तों मैं इस एपिसोड के शुरू में सिर्फ इसलिए आ रहा हूँ आपको ये बताने के लिए कि अगर आपको भी ज़िंदगी में मेरी तरह जैसे थे मुझे हम सब कोई होते हैं अगर आपको इमोशनल अप्स एंड डाउन आ रहे हैं या आपको ये चीज़ डिप्रेशन या आप किसी ऐसी सूरत हाल का शिकार हैं तो फिक्र मत कीजिए मैं ऐड नहीं चला फिक्र मत कीजिए और ये एपिसोड देखिए क्योंकि इस एपिसोड में आई थिंक कि आपको वाकई कुछ ऐसी चीज़ें मिलेंगी जिसको आप यूज़ कर सकते हैं और अगर आपको वाकई ऐसी चीज़ें मिलती हैं डोंट गेट टू सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड शेयर विद समन उम्मीद कैन हेल्प थैंक यू listeners friends family fam whoever you are and you're listening to me welcome to episode 19th of artistic and it's not artistic it's artistic ari is my nickname kind of so yeah that's me being smart extra smart uh by the way i changed the name uh i did, i did not mention it in my last episode maine naam sirf isliye change kiya kyunki life for learners i that, that was my previous name by the way it seemed like too long for me and i did not i it was not cool for me okay it was not cool for me i'll tell you the reason that did not seem cool mujhe acha nahi lagta tha so i changed it and it took me like i don't know 4 or 5 days to come up with the name like this to be this smart so i i i'm trying to say what i'm trying to say is i am smart okay don't you think for a second that i'm not smart i am smart but it takes me time okay that's what i'm trying to say now on to the 19th episode of this podcast what are we going to talk about what are we going to learn today so we are going to learn about something that is so important that is so necessary that is so fundamental and that is so important that it controls every decision of your life that it controls your whole life in a way that's what i believe about this and this is what we experience on a day to day basis unconsciously mostly but we experience this and the way we experience changes what we experience about life and as ye cheeze ab ye baatein aapko bahut mushkil lag rahi hongi ke what am i trying to say but i'm going to i'm here i'm here i did not i did not run off i am here and i'm trying to make it very simple for you so just stick with me to the end of this episode till i make this very simple and by the way title se aap logo ne guess kar hi liya hoga I am talking about emotions. Just about okay it's something that's very fundamental like har har waqt hum kisi na kisi jazbati kaifiyat mein hote hain we are in an emotional state state is the word I'll use for it we are in an emotional state all the time like what are you feeling right now listening to me you might be kya bata aap kaam se aaye ho aur aap raat ko mujhe sun rahe ho and you're like I'm really tired so I need you to pump some fuel in me maybe or maybe you must you might be feeling funny maybe you might be feeling bored so you're like oh, okay I'll watch this I'll click on this podcast whatever your reason is what I'm trying to say is you are in an emotional state even right now and you are in an emotional state most of your life all the time in your life most of your life not you are in an emotional state all the time in your life you're feeling one thing on another sometimes you feel excited sometimes you feel upright and you're going to change the world but sometimes you feel very down and you ask like why is everything so wrong with me mere saath hi itna bura kyun hota hai change of state change of your emotional state okay so that's what's happening and by the way i have seen this again and again ke jis emotional state mein aap hote hain usi tarah ka behavior aap show karte hain and that's not something rocket science it's actually pretty simple for example why do people fight it's because they hate each other each other maybe maybe it's true but most of the fights i have seen is because people don't necessarily hate each other or they have they have an upset of rules is what i think they have their own standards their their own perspective in life and when their perspective don't match they get angry and that's how we feel anger by the way we have a standard to feel we have a standard we think that 
उस उसको ये करना चाहिए उसको ये उसको ये चीज करनी चाहिए क्योंकि मुझे अच्छा लगेगा उसको ये उसने ये काम क्यों नहीं किया आई एम सो एंग्री ऑन हिम दैट्स हाउ वी फील एंग्री ओके सो व्हेन यू फील एंग्री और फिर अगला व्हेन यू आर इन एंग्री स्टेट यू लुक फॉर एवरीथिंग दैट कैन मेक यू एंग्री ऑल द थिंग्स द पर्सन से द अदर पर्सन से यू लुक फॉर एवरीथिंग लाइक तूने मुझे गाली दी तेरी ऐसी की तैसी कम हेयर एंड दे स्टार्ट फाइटिंग ईच अदर एंड आई डोंट लाइक फाइट्स ओके आई डोंट लाइक फाइट फाइट्स बिकॉज I um I think they're nonsense okay they're just very very nonsense I don't I'm not saying that you should fight okay don't fight that's what I'm trying to say don't fight ever so emotions are pretty necessary and also emotions are what add richness to your life isn't that true cuz pretend just zara sochiye ke आपकी लाइफ में कोई नई चीज नहीं है आपकी लाइफ में जस्ट कोई आप इमोशन फील नहीं करते आप हैप्पी फील नहीं करते आप सैड फील नहीं करते आप जस्ट न्यूट्रल हैं लाइफ कैसी होगी यू बी सेंग आई बी बोर्ड आउट ऑफ माई माइंड बिकॉज आई हैव नो इमोशन आई हैव नो कलर्स इन लाइफ इमोशन आर कलर्स द वे यू फील इज द वे यू फील डिटर्मिन द वे यूल बिहेव and the way you feel like literally changes certain things inside your mind it changes what you're perceiving in the moment and that's how emotions they are what i think the driving force in life there are good emotions there are bad emotions there is a range of emotion and we feel all of them right sometimes angry sometimes sad sometimes depressed even depression is a big emotion by the way and people think that this is a scientific disorder or some kind of a disease that i have okay so and sometimes we are angry sometimes we are happy sometimes we are very uplifting very excited there's all emotion and in day to day life we feel these emotions and let me tell you another thing the emotions that we feel on a regular basis they become our emotional home all of us have an emotional home inside which we return to whatever happens in life jo bhi kuch hoga will return to this emotional home and if your emotional home is frustrated if you are running a pattern in your mind which gets you, uh, which makes your emotional home frustrated you will feel frustrated no matter no matter kitni achhi cheeze ho rahi ho aapki life mein but if you have an emotional home that makes you feel happy that makes you feel abundant that makes you feel wealthy and wealth by the way is a state of mind it's not it's not dependent on how much money you have wealth is a state of mind and i'll prove it to you i'll prove it to you with examples you might be saying no nah, it's not a state of mind hey okay? uh, i have money i am wealthy you don't have you're not wealthy not true okay that's not true and that's not cool wealth is a state of mind as well and by the way what do we all want in life what is the ultimate thing that we all want okay let me ask you what do you want aapko kya chahiye life mein and your answer will be like uh, i'm guessing but i think ke mere answer aapke answer bahut zyada match karenge you might want degree you might want a house or you might want a car or you might want the new iphone whatever is it you want now tell me something let's suppose you want the new phone okay uh for a second suppose you want the new phone if you are some of that guy i want the new phone okay what did you think you'll get when you get the new iphone what is it that you'll get and you might be saying uh okay mm, what is it that i'll get mm. when i had the new iphone you know what ari i will feel good okay so is it is it not true that what you want in life was to feel good and the iphone the phone was just uh in the equation for some reason but, but what you ultimately wanted was to feel good right and whatever the thing is you want whatever the material that you want i promise you that if i ask you that question again and again i'll get to a feeling so what you want is a feeling you don't want money you don't want those pieces of paper what you want is the feeling of security the feeling of independence that you 
thing comes with it. And by the way, by the way, here's the, here's the kicker. Listen to me now. Here's the kicker. Can't you have the feeling or emotion right now without even having the, without even having that amount of money, without even having the phone? Can't you have it? I bet you can. But I'm not here saying that don't go for the house, don't go for the car, don't go for the money, go for all of those things. But a funny expression that people say that when they are going through a difficult time in life, they say that someday we'll look back at it and smile. That one day we'll look back at it and we'll laugh about it. So let me be clear. One day, when that one day comes, you'll reflect on it and you'll be laughing about it. So why? So ah, then you have to take the decision to laugh. So why not just take that decision? Why not allow yourself right now? And smile on it. And you're like, but no, I have all these problems in my life. I have all this pain, you know. I have this burden of studies, and you know, I have to get a degree, and I have to do this and this and this and that, and that makes me feel stressed. Let me let me tell you something. Let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story of a guy, okay? And this will put everything in perspective. This story. This is the story of W. Mitchell. I don't know if you know him or not, but it's W. Mitchell's story. Hai. And W. Mitchell, he was a very successful businessman, uh, very successful in his life, very happy in his relationship with his wife, and you know had everything. Kind of like he was, had everything. Or one day, he was on his bike and he was riding 65 miles per hour down the highway, and usko uh, apni On in the, just in the blink of his eye, he caught a very beautiful view in on the right side. And 65 miles per hour on the highway, he looked at the view and he looked at it for two to three seconds, maybe five seconds. And then when he looked back on the road, he was shocked because he was traveling in the back of a trailer at the speed of 65 miles per hour. And in the split second, the split second he had, he made a decision which saved his life. He, उसने अपना उसने अपने बाइक को he dropped the bike on the ground and he slid on the highway. He slid down the trailer, down the whole truck. वो रिसीट के गया आगे तक. And he he his face was burned and his uh, one side of his was like literally he he slid. So you can imagine it, okay? And the worst part that could happen is, after that, the fuel cap of the tank. वो उसका ढक्कन खुल गया and there was fuel leaking on the floor. And due to the friction, the fuel lit up and there was an explosion. And W. Mitchell, he was burnt. His body was burnt. Okay, from the waist up, he was burnt. One side of his his face was very destructured. And he woke up two weeks later in in an hospital, and in that hospital, he was devastated. Okay, for a second he was devastated. Like what has happened to his life? And a very key decision he had to make in those moments. The decision was that, am I will I allow people to call me a cripple? Will I allow people to give me this much attention, or will I just? Go inside and be happy, and I can do the best to my resources, the best to my resourcefulness actually. And there's a famous quote from Tony Robbins which says that resourcefulness is the ultimate resource, and that's what he tapped into. He tapped into his resourcefulness. By the way, abhi uska agar wo sad feel karta, abhi wo hurt feel karta, to was he justified? Completely, okay, according to you, but according to him, not. He did not justify that. Usne kaha ke whatever happened to me, I'm not gonna let that define my destiny, and I'm going to feel good. And in the next two years, after that severe accident, the next two years, W. Mitchell, he lost his business. Okay, he lost his business due to that accident, and after that. He started another company, and in the next two years, he was doing more than the previous company. Okay, so you see how by just handling the greatest resource, emotions, 
He created another life for him, even after the accident. Most, you and I, if that accident happened to me or you, we would be feeling bad. We would be feeling really bad about life. We would be questioning life. And he questioned, but he questioned in a very different way. He said, how can I turn this around? And he did turn it around. By the way, W. Mitchell, two years later, uh, very successful in his business. Uh, ab, uh, something again happened. W. Mitchell, he went to fly his, his aeroplane, his uh, helicopter, not an aeroplane. There's a difference, okay? He went to fly his helicopter with four, with three of his friends, and he made a slight bit of mistakes. Usne apni checklist ko puri tarah check nahi kiya. He didn't go through his checklist, okay? And when he took off, there was frost in the, there was frost in the in the rotor. And just after he took off into the sky, all the red lights, they start beeping and you guessed it, he crashed. There were three survivors, okay? Three people, all of his three friends, they survived. W. Mitchell was paralyzed from the waist down. He could not, he could not move from the waist down. He was put into a wheelchair for life. And after the incident, after the bike incident, his, uh, I forgot to tell you this, uski unglian thi na, they burned off. He didn't have fingers. So after this um, helicopter incident, because he was paralyzed from the waist down now, he didn't need his, his toes. So what the doctors did, that he, they cut out his toes and they sewed them back on his fingers. And now you might be thinking, okay, that's it. After this, he might have been a cripple for life. But W. Mitchell, he did not let this be the end. He he made it into a new beginning for himself. And he went out, he tried to become the governor of his state and then ran out for the mayor and all of this. He failed in that. And he tried it. He tried again and again. He had a horrible face. His wife left him. Okay. Now his wife left him as well. And he did not succeed in that. In becoming the governor or the mayor or whatever that was. I'm sorry, that that yada. But what he has right now is he's a motivational speaker. He's a leader. A real leader. He's a speaker and he inspires people all around the world. And he has a radio show in his state. And it's the best. So you see, and and he got married again to another woman who fell in love with his soul and he he fell in love with her soul. So you see, whatever happens in life, we sometimes hum, we fall prey that our emotions are not in control. We understand that our emotions are outside environmental triggers. They are controlling our emotions. I am here to tell you not. That's not true. When there is an outside trigger, you run a pattern inside your brain. And by the way, I am not getting, not getting into more into how do we change that pattern but now let me give you an understanding of how we generate these emotions and better emotions simply mean better life better patterns of emotion better destiny okay you change your destiny and the answer is in the resourcefulness the answer is not in the resources Resourcefulness is the ultimate resource. That's what we need to remember. That if we can tap into our emotions, our good emotions, like imagine how would the podcast be if I was sad or if I was depressed or devastated or overwhelming. The podcast would be a lot more like um, this. And you guys might be like, get this guy out. Okay? So the best the best resource is resourcefulness. It's tapping into those emotions. By the way, itni sari studies in the world mein, jahan pe show hai ke talent was beated by resourcefulness. Because a lot of people have the talent, but they don't have the ability to tap into that talent. That's what you get from emotions, the ability to tap into that talent anytime you need it. So how do we generate emotions? Emotions are nothing but neurological storms inside your head. I mean, 
कोई ट्रिगर होता है इट रन अ पैटर्न इन योर ब्रेन और दैट पैटर्न वो न्यूरोलॉजिकल स्ट्रॉम इन साइड यू हैव दैट डिटरमिन हाउ यू फील दैट डिटरमिन इमोशन एंड यू कैन चेंज योर इमोशन यू कैन चेंज योर इमोशन जस्ट बाय चेंजिंग टू सिंपल थिंग्स आई गिव यू टू सिंपल कीज हेयर बिकॉज आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी टू लॉन्ग आई गिव यू टू सिंपल कीज हेयर विच विल हेल्प यू इन चेंजिंग योर इमोशन नो मैटर हाउ devastating you feel or how sad you feel this is how you generate emotions first key is emotion is created by motion and tony robbins says that emotion is created by motion the way you move literally determines the way you feel or uh, there's there are a lot of studies on it uh, one study is ke harvard study that if you just uh, go into this superman pose for this for like Two minutes. It change. It makes changes in your brain, and it's true. It's it's scientifically proven. You can go check it out. It makes changes in your brain. Okay, it makes you feel good. Just uh, posing for acting like Superman for two minutes. Another really interesting story. Interesting study. I was reading yet again. These scientists they took really depressed people. I mean. they had a degree in depression itne depressed log the ke one woman who uh, that woman was so depressed that she cried in her sleep like that's a breakthrough in depression if you talk about it so and unhone a group of people liye maybe 10 maybe 12 and uh, what they did with these people is they said to them ke dekhe aap log ka koi kaam nahi hai for the next 15 days or 20 days i'm not correct about this 15 days or 20 days what you have to do is every day for 5 minutes one or two times you have to stand in front of the mirror and you have to smile ear to ear smile for no reason at all and uh, they agreed to it and after the 20 days or the 15 days whatever it was after that not one person was depressed not one not a single one even that woman who cried in her sleep she was not depressed just because they changed the way they use their body and let's do a fun let's do a fun exercise let's uh, suppose that over this your your hair with me okay i can see your face i can see you. let's suppose that over this curtain over uh, over here there's a curtain and behind this curtain is is parde ke piche ek banda who's really depressed i want you to describe his body posture for me uske shoulders up honge ya Kind of like down. उसका फेस उस इस पर एक स्माइल होगी या नहीं होगी उस पर वो नीचे देख रहा होगा या ऊपर देख रहा होगा और उसकी होल बॉडी वट इट बी रियली हाउ हाउ इज ब्रीथिंग बी लाइक वट इट बी ब्रीथिंग रियली फुली और रियली रियली डीप और शैल हो उसकी ब्रीथिंग कैसी होगी वट आर द थिंग्स इवन वो अपनी वो जो बातें कहेगा वो किस टोन में कहेगा वो बी रियली अप लिफ्टिंग आई आई डोंट थिंक सो एंड आई थिंक यू एंड आई बोथ नो दी आंसर हेयर एंड आवर आंसर विल मैच ही वुड नॉट बी लुकिंग अप ही वुड बी लुकिंग डाउन ही वुड नॉट बी ब्रीथिंग फुल बी ब्रीथिंग रियली डीप नॉट शैलो एंड द वे ही से थिंग इज मोर लाइक दिस like why is everything happened to me and so you get the idea the way you use your body generates emotion inside your head for example if for no reason at all right now if you can i challenge you to do this stop stop this podcast for 10 seconds and i want you to stand like you are the most confident powerful person on the planet and i want you to look at the ceiling and i want you to smile ear to ear for 10 seconds and tell me down in the comments how does that make you feel it doesn't make you feel wonderful or what you did nothing you just change your physiology and that's the key, number one key remember this emotion is created by motion and physiology is just a fancy word for the way you use your body so if you use your body in a better way you'll feel better emotions so next time you start feeling depressed maybe you don't go like maybe you don't sit very down maybe you don't look down maybe you feel up maybe you jump 
Okay, just like I'm jumping right now. Okay, maybe you do all of these crazy stuff. It'll make you feel good. The second key is whatever we focus on, we feel. If you focus on all the things which are going wrong in your life, you'll feel bad. If you focus on all the things which are going really good in your life, which are really up in your life, you'll feel good and you'll feel up, you'll feel excited. If you focus on the things that can make you excited today, you'll feel excited about those things. So focus. And or yeah, coffee pretty simple cheese yeah, focus. But it creates the big difference in your life. And here's another thing. We need some rocket science. We need some out of the world, some magic formula. But that's not true. Even if you change a simple thing, if, even if you change a needle from 1 to 1.1, so if you go a 1 millimeter shift, even if you do that 1 millimeter shift, your life will change. Your life will go into a different direction. So this is that 1 millimeter shift. This is the understanding of the 1 millimeter shift. Focus on the good things. Okay, Focus on the good things about people. And you'll feel good about them. Focus on the bad things, you'll feel bad. That's how easy it is. By the way, you might be saying that when my life there is a bad thing, a very bad thing, let's say. So, I focus, I need to focus on that because that needs my attention. Right. You need to focus on that. You're right on that. But which part of it? Do you need to focus on the part that says that uh, let's say, what is it that that part that says that I am the only one who is with me? Why is it that? You need to focus on that part. Okay, what can I do about this? I can do this about it. How can I make this better? Do you need to focus on that part of the first one? That's your decision. That's the decision you are making subconsciously. I'm just here trying to pull that from your subconscious mind to your conscious one, so you can know it and you can make the decision intelligently next time. Let's say. There are two guys, okay, A and B. A, A's mother is involved in a car accident and her mother, uh, her mother is in the hospital, in the hospital and she's in bed and she's in very severe condition. And what does A says to himself? He says, why me? Okay, he says this, right in this tone. He says, why me? Okay, and you know what he'll feel? He'll feel really bad, okay? It'll feel really terrible, to say. And let's say the same happens to this B person. And the B person goes, Hmm, why me? Okay, what is God trying to teach me here? What is God trying to give me? And let's say, okay, you're going to work and you have, or, aapko na ek gaari wala, Bilkul, just itna sa slight sa bach aake aapko, aapko bas accident hone laga hota hai, aap slight sa bach jate hai. What do you say to yourself? Do you say, ke, aaj to wo gaari wala bujha maanne laga tha, aaj, yeah, or do you say that, that driver is stupid, he was gonna kill me. Do you go like this, or do you focus on the good thing that happened, that you were saved? Or do you go, thank God for saving me? What do you focus on? And by the way, both dono cheez are saying. I'm not saying that cheez galat hai. Both the things are true. But whatever you choose to focus on, you'll feel that way. And that's your decision. And I hope next time you'll decide wisely. You'll decide consciously. Or jo hum jis cheez pe hum focus karte hain, wo ek meaning create kar lete hain. Or wo meaning hamari life ban jata hai. Wo meaning hamari life ko life ke har aspect ko. And by the way, agar aap apne brain ko, agar aap har time apne brain ko ye consciously need uh, steer karte na, to your brain is what I call a survival mechanism. Hamara brain ek survival mechanism hai, so it's always looking for what's wrong, so it can either fight it or flight from it. That's why we have fear. Fear is F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real. Okay, so. Our brain is a survival mechanism. Hai. It's always, always looking for what is wrong. What is wrong? So that I can fight it or run away from it. And the reason for this is that back in the days, 
when we were cavemen, Homo sapiens, when we were cavemen, that's what saved us. Because we go out to hunt, we go out to get food. We need to look for what's wrong. We need to look for what's wrong. We need to look for what's wrong. Neither the saber-toothed tiger will kill us, it will rip us apart. We don't want that happening. So we had to look for what's wrong. That's how we were conditioned. Our brain was a condition. And now, in the 21st century, there is no saber-toothed tiger. There are no big, uh, big disasters waiting for you. There's nothing like that. So you need to tell your mind, Hey, look, there's no saber-toothed tiger. I can focus on the good thing here, okay? Calm yourself a bit. Give yourself a rest, mind. You need to go back and have that conversation with your brain. You look like, hey brain, look, there's no saber-toothed tiger. We can focus on the good things and feel good. We don't have to feel bad. We don't have to be in reaction. So if you put it in automated mode, brain, I guarantee you, you are making your life a disaster. Because your brain, it's not user-friendly until you make it so. Until you take control, okay, I am the one controlling my brain. It's not the brain who's controlling me. Okay, so you need to understand that this is a critical distinction that you need to make. And that's how you deal with one of the big things called depression. Our traditional ways of dealing with depression, one of the ways is take drugs. Depression is that they make so many big things and they say that it's a real uh, a scientific issue and you need to go and you need to uh, take drugs and you need to put these drugs and when they don't do that, just mix it with another drug and take that inside. What do those drugs do? Isn't it true that when you take drugs, you change your biochemistry inside your body? And that change is what? The first thing we talked about, physiology. So you can achieve the same thing those drugs do. Without changing your physiology, without ch- taking any drugs. And when a drug is not working, we will say, hey, it's not working, 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 it's not And a core, this is the last thing. A core is a very folly thing which we fall prey to is Hum kehte hain ke one time jab we daydream about this like this jab humari life mein ye mere paas ye gaadi bhi aa jayegi aur ye ghar bhi hoga aur itni achhi si family bhi hogi aur jab mein achieve karunga ye sari cheeze tab I'll be truly, truly happy. That's a trap. Don't fall into that trap. Because I can tell you the name of many people who have achieved virtually anything they have wanted. The fame, the money, the success. And they were still bad. Because they didn't know how to control their state. They didn't take control of their focus and the way they use their body. So they tend to move to drugs. Why do you smoke cigarette? Why do you do drugs? Why do people do drugs? It's not because they want to harm themselves. It's because they it makes you feel good. Because when you t- take those deep breaths when you're smoking, those. Because when you take those deep breaths when you're smoking, those deep breaths they change your physiology. Because just by try this for a second. Take these deep breaths without those that pipe you put in your mouth. Try that. How would you feel? You'll feel good because you change your physiology. So people, they tend to move towards drugs to change their state. Some people tend to move towards food. Because when you eat all that food, it changes your biochemistry, it changes your physiology and that makes you feel good. Okay, so you understand the point by, by now. So these people, when they achieve everything, even then to change the way they feel, they tend to move towards drugs or food or anything. And it's not good for you. It's, it hurts you. It, it makes you feel good, but it hurts you in the long term, you see. So I'll tell you an example of one guy. And I really loved him. Okay, He is someone who has made us laugh, who has made us cry, 
He's a great actor. Robin Williams. And the tragedy of Robin Williams is this. Robin Williams ne kaha ke I'll become the greatest actor. I'll win the award. I'll win the Oscar for drama and movies. And he went out and he achieved that. Or then Robin Williams ne kaha ke I'll achieve, I'll get an, another award. But this time wo award will be for not being funny. Okay, ek award usne I don't know. I'm not sure. But he said that I'll go out and this time I'll win for not being funny. Okay, and Iman Tarun and he did that too. Okay, and Robin Williams, usne kaha ki I'll make a great family. And he went out and he did that too. So there's a guy who gets all the love in the earth that you can possibly imagine. People from all over the world loved him. people from all over the world loved him admired him he inspired people and he had a great family who loved him a great wife great children and he had all he could possibly achieve money fame whatever you think of and yet he hung himself he hung himself because he was not happy inside He hung himself because he made everybody happy, and he missed home himself. So I believe you're smart enough. I believe I have inspired you this much, so that you don't wait for those achievements to happen to make you feel happy. So that you become the master of your own happiness. Because happiness, it's not related to things. It's related to your own state of mind. So I believe. You will take control of that. I believe that you, from now, will create happiness. And there is this fun cartoon. And in that cartoon, or, us cartoon mein, I don't know, Winnie the Pooh or somebody, he is carrying a jar, and on that jar is written happiness. And another guy comes and he asks, "Where did you get that?" And Winnie the Pooh he says, or whatever the cartoon is, he says, "I created it." That's it. For episode nineteenth of Artistic, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna see you in the next episode. Till then, God bless you, Allah Fiz, and live with passion.